Barbara Volpe, yes, I hear you. And yes, sometimes I do feel as though I have no clue what I'm doing. Those days are super discouraging. They make me question everything. And yes, have always brought me to the question, should I just give up? Two of the worst times that I felt that was within the first year of having this collection, when a shelf collapsed full of orchids on the top, collapsed onto orchids underneath. I came home and there was mayhem in my growth space. I cried a lot and I spent four hours picking up the media questioning whether I should just give up. My daughter offered to help me and I told her no I need to do this on my own. So after work that's the first thing I did. I just picked up my media, separated the ceramics from the lava rock from the lecker and then I went to bed. That was the worst I thought. The second time that I was about to quit was last year, 2021, when I struggled with my RO supply during the summer months here in southern Spain. And I had to pick and choose which orchids needed it the most. And I had to pick and choose whether to use my, what I consider toxic tap water. And then I did that 50-50 with RO water that I had. Then I lost Vandas because of several reasons. Also, you know, copper overdose. It was the perfect storm in 2021 when my water supply was very, very limited and I wasn't even getting a solution for it up until October. Yes, it was the worst summer and you can have a bad day and then think, oh, I'm just going to give up. But when you have four months of a situation that you're dealing with over and over again, the anxiety, yes, I was ready to quit. And I had already filmed a video. Clearly, I'm still here. I never posted that video, but I had filmed a video saying that I can't do this anymore. I was in a really, really bad, bad way. So, been there. Probably not the last time that I'm gonna feel this way. Other things may come up, but yeah. I've had my moments of when I've wanted to quit. So thank you for your question, Barbara. I really appreciate it. I hope my answer didn't disappoint you or make you think any differently about me.